How's it going, everybody? It's Frank, <laughs> aka Dinos here, back for another episode of our Pokemon Half Life I Challenge. In the last episode, we did some like, we did some exploring around uh, Mombasa City, Just and like in today's no episode, we're gonna do uh, more exploring, seeing what's over here. Are you excited to see what's over here, Joel? I'm excited for America. Yeah, because today is the day America was America. Mm-hmm. You're looking for Team Plasma, right? I'm looking for America! They ran into the amusement park. <coughs> Come with me. Mommy told me not to talk to strangers. I mean, he's leading the way. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't think this kid listened. I don't think so either. I think the rules are vastly different in this world. I think so too. Well, this. Do we get to ride the Ferris wheel? They're not here. I don't care Let's about ride that. Let's the Ferris wheel and see if we can. Spot yes! Them. I love Ferris wheels. I do too. The circular motions. This will be mechanisms. so romantic. They're like you were a woman. Collections of elegant formulas. All right, now you're overanalyzing it. It's a fucking giant wheel that goes up. Sure is. And down. You can't forget about the down. Well, it kind of just spins. It doesn't go up or down. <coughs> yeah, it spins up and spins back down. I don't know if that's how spinning works. Oh, look how romantic I don't think you can spin is. up. How romantic First this I must is. tell you that I am the king of Team Plasma. Faggot. Oh, so he's just he's just the king of Team Plasma. Oh. Loser. And what the fuck are the other fucking guys? They're, you know, his sages. Getsis asked me to work with him to save the Pokemon. From themselves. No, from us. And then she stopped. <laughs> Nobody's gonna get no, that no joke. No, nobody's gonna get that because no nobody's gonna, gonna see gonna that get... fucking movie because that fucking movie was so bad. I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. All of them. <laughs> ah, dad joke. So fun. God, I hate you. I real hate you. Like I hate you in the real way. I would sacrifice anything on one. Uh, my, my lord, lord N. N. You're safe, sire. <coughs> There's no problem. You're part of the people we brought in to help say, uh, help us save Pokemon. So you're under my protection as well. You rest in peace, Prince. Go, quickly, and let my battle over your regrets. Now, then, Dinos. Do you follow my logic? I am not picking up what you're talking no. about. So that's how it is. That's unfortunate. Ah, then the future I envisioned. Perhaps I can beat you here and now, but I'll battle you anyway to buy time for those members from Team Plasma to flee. We're not gonna chase them anyways. Basically. What the fuck are you talking about? Although we gotta battle Team Plasma and... So now we basically... I don't know if we knew this before, but basically now we know that he's a part of Team Plasma. And he's got a sand dial. I don't know about you, but this guy seems like the nicest villain I've ever met. I mean, he's not bad. I farted. I hope that caught on the mic. Probably did. Although I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy his little alligator here. Hey, man, that's not cool. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do, man. These are dying at an alarming rate. Stop saying that. No one's doing anything about it. Scraggy, I'm gonna stay in. What exactly is this thing supposed to be? A lizard. Oh yeah, we went over this. Damn it! He outsped me. I was gonna do that to him. Um, Why is it weak against itself? Because it's uh, fighting dark. Oh. So dark is weak to fighting. Hit him with that fire punch, though! Oh, he's swaggering me. Swag. I got my swag on. Don't hit yourself. Yes! What a champion. Okay, you're gone. Level 26, man. When does he evolve? I don't know. Is he just using all the same Pokemon that we, we caught? No. But if you do notice that all those Pokemon can be ca caught on the route before. Yeah, that's true. So. God, he's got a bit more original. We already did this. Well, see, the, the, the thing is, like, thinking about that people like theorize about it is because he doesn't 
like want to catch Pokemon. Oh. So he just gets whatever is there and then <coughs> does that. Although, I mean, that kind of defeats the point of being like friends with Pokemon and shit, but whatever. I guess. What the fuck? It's a Sigalith. The flying psychic type. I think it was terrifying. Yeah, it's not great. What is it? What the fuck is that supposed to be? Uh, yeah. I I'm don't! Not, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. I don't know a lot about Sigalith. No, don't do it! Looks right, like I know. just took acid. <laughs> Sorry you feel that way. Or shrooms. Or both. But we won, so that's all that matters. You're quite strong. But I have a future that I must change. And for that future... I'll defeat the champion and become unbeatable, unlike any other. I'll make all trainers free their Pokemon. Just try to stop me. So you feel... If you want to be together with Pokemon, your only hope is to collect the gym badges from each area and head to the Pokemon League. So the, the, so the champion is like the fucking ruler of all Pokemon all the time. Try and stop me there, if you dare. Well, the, the, the thought process is, if he beats the champion, then he no, is um, the strongest Pokemon yeah, no trainer. Yeah, no one stop him. And, okay, right, got it. Yeah. I saw this um, fan theory thing about N, and how he's like, people are saying he's like just some Pokemon that can like... I will, Have you seen that one? Well, we'll, I will explain that in a second, once we're done with this. If your... If your... Con conviction. Uh, conviction is too strong... Is strong enough... Is not strong enough. Uh, you will never be able to defeat me. Um... So the theory about that is, and this is actually the Pokemon that I was trying to get on the route next door, um, is that he... Oh, it's that weird, like, Black Fox. Yes. Name. That is a Zoark. And the thing about him is he is, like, he can create illusions. He can, like, pe make people think that he <coughs> looks like something else or whatever. And the theory about this is because N can supposedly can talk to Pokemon. So that's why people th think that. And also, there's a point in Black 2 where you meet N that, uh, like, you follow this Zoroark, and the Zoroark goes into a cave, and when you go into the cave, N is there. Ah. So, that's the working theory. And I think there's a little bit more that goes into it than that, but that's basically the cliff notes. Ah. But, with that all said and done, there's only one thing left to do in Boston City, and that's look at this giant fucking Pikachu. That's awesome. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, Star it's to take on, start taking on I'm the gym. Even today, yeah. I want to be a part of it. What the fuck? It's a when, did we, when did we get in Tron? <laughs> Well, so this is the gym, so New we gotta York. we gotta change the uh, change the tracks on uh, the. Floor. Oh, I gotta switch those tracks. Yes. DJ, <laughs> gotta put on the fire mix tape. All right, so what's this lady gonna have? Can I have an Amolga? The fuck? It's a flying electric type. Damn, Zapdos. Basically. Don't you do it, you motherfucker! Get him, Shaquille! <coughs> no, don't shock with me! No, no, no! So, no, no. speaking of uh, we a couple episodes back, we spoke on we spoke speaked on, on yeah we spoke on the uh, <coughs> new Pokemon that have come out uh, for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yes. And, uh, if you notice, there's a, quite a few, uh, electric types that they showed off. Yes. So, my brother and I came up with the theory, and I'm sure other people have come up with this theory as well. Yes. But, uh, I think that each island is going to have their specific, uh, like, priority types. Yes. You know what would be cool? What? If they included the, uh, fucking... What is it? The islands from World War Two that they use nuclear testing. Get some fucking radioactive Pokemon in this bitch. That'd be cool. That would be cool, but I don't think that's how that's gonna go. I don't think they're gonna have that. Um, 
But yeah, just because like uh, Topa 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 Cuckoo is like the uh, guardian of that island, and he's an electric type, so yes. you know it stands to reason that you know probably uh, it's probably going to be something along those lines that each island is going to have their own guardian. It's going to be a different type, yes, and stuff like that. Damn, only two ninety eight for orgasmic blueberries. What? It's supposed to be organic. Oh, pfft. nice. There's this Twitter account called You Had One Job. Did you ever see the, uh, the <laughs> sign? Because, you know, at the grocery store, there'll be signs and they'll say, you know, minus whatever yeah. because it's on sale. Of the ones that's like minus one cent. Yeah. There was, there was one that, <coughs> um, it was like a negative. So, was, so you save negative two dollars. Yes. So you're paying. You're well, overpaying. Yes. Obviously, it was like a misprint or whatever, but it was just so stupid. City's all right. I like it. What's it based off of? Ah, I mean it's north of New York, so Buffalo. Buffalo. Nah, Buffalo is shitty. No, actually, it would make sense because doesn't didn't Buffalo have those World's Fairs? Did they? Yeah. I have a wedgie. Because that's fix. where uh, that's where McKinley was shot, right? Sure. I actually I I, I know like nothing about McKinley aside from the fact that he got shot. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's how that looks. So I it actually could be based on Buffalo. Buffalo is shitty. Never been. I have once. It's like this it is not too shitty. It's just boring. Nothing up there. My friend lives up there, mm -hmm. and like the way she described her directions was, you go up to Buffalo and take a left, and I'm there. I'm like, okay, get up to Buffalo. There's fucking nothing up there. It's boring as shit. Nothing to really look at. Hmm. <coughs> so yeah, we gotta hit the switches, and that turns the uh, the way that these carts move. This is a pretty cool, Jim. Yeah, it's not bad. This is my stop. So let's see what this person... I've, I assume this person is going to have more Emolgas or Blitzels. Or a mix of the two. Just a guess. Oh, just one. And it's a Blitzel. Who could have a seen this zebra. Coming? A Zebra. You should crossmate a Blitzel with a Ponyta. You probably just get. You can do that. Get and a fucking electric. Fucking. Nope, fire you'll horse. just get whatever the female is. No, that's shitty. That's so shitty. That's how the game works. That'd be so cool. Hybrid Pokemon? Yeah. Which they do. Like, people do that. I don't know if up. Well, yeah. Yeah, there's like a. I'm pretty sure there's a like website that randomly generates them. Yeah, it's fucking badass. We should do a video on that. Some of them are badass. Some of them turn out to be terrible. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure this one's on the. Um, you want to just send me that picture so I can put yeah. it on. Uh, put it on the on the screen. I'm pretty sure uh, that, like, this one's on the random generator one. Yeah. It, it the first one they did was they mixed an Arcanine with a Venomoth. That's kind of shitty. Yeah. It's not great. Yeah, I'll see. More Blitzel! Oh, that's original. I know, right? These aren't the best examples. Okay, then maybe not show me that one. <laughs> Some of them are badass. Again, maybe we'll do a video on yeah. one soon. Or maybe it's already out. Ha! What? There's a picture of a Psyduck mixed with a Machep. Yeah. Oh. That thing looks like it just wants to die. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> no, don't flame charge me. Apparently, the people love mixing Psyduck with stuff. Well, yeah, because it's hilarious. Yeah. Psyduck and a Chansey, there's a Psyduck and a Grimer. I like the Psyduck with Voltorb. That's the winner. Let me see. 
<laughs> it's literally just his head. It's just a ball with his head. That's pretty awesome. Holy shit, a Pika Buzz looks intense. That's really awesome. <coughs> I'm gonna stop because no one can see what the fuck I'm yeah. talking about, so. Just making more work for me. America! And Frank Sinatra. They go hand in hand. Whee! Whee! Whoa! That's intense, huh? That's how we do. Is there a motion sickness morning before this? In the game where you're not actually. Whoa! Moving? I think this is the last trainer we have to fight before Elise, or Lisa, whatever the fuck it is. So she just, like, ride that thing all day until, like, another... Until someone shows up, yeah, basically. That's how it works. Hit him with the headbutt. Ah! Okay, that did nothing, and we're static. Okay, Shit, we're gonna switch up. Oh, shit, fuck. Ah, oh, being an adult sucks, huh? Yeah. Alright, let's go back to Kitty and see if she can't fucking kill this thing. Stop double teaming! You're annoying! Oh, he gets to with another shockwave, though. Fucking yeah, just fucking eat it. I'm gonna go for crunch this time so I don't do more damage. What? What? I don't know. Don't get paralyzed. Yes! What a champion kitty is. You know that Seinfeld episode where yes. I can't remember the girl's name? Yep. Dolores! God, I love Seinfeld. Mova? <laughs> Woo! What was that? So this is the gym leader, and we'll take her on in the next episode, you guys. She looks like a bitch. If you enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe for more, but while you do that, we're gonna get out of here. Have a good day or night, depending on where you are. America. America. Frank Sinatra.